Hey, everybody, the big dog. Uh, I've been doing a lot of deals here the past couple weeks. I've been a little hectic, a lot of busy, back to work. So let's just get into kind of what I have. I got a phone call from a buddy. He says, Brian, I got all this stuff. Can you please come and get it? Whatever. So I went and picked it up. So in it was the M&M car, a couple of these other little things like this. There was like six boxes of stuff. Now these all work. I've already put batteries in them. They do work. This one doesn't though, which is an old uh, AP fire truck. Kind of cool. No control works. The little ones work. So you have Dan Hart. And you have Kevin Harvick, which is the guy that took over the Dale Earnhardt car. And ran the number three for three races and then jumped to number 29. Now he drives number four. But uh, So they all work. The Dub Mustang works. Remember for it. This I thought was cool. This does not work, but it's kind of got the Power Ranger symbol, but it's still cool. So kind of like a KO Power Rangers motorcycle. This kind of works. It's old GMC, little Sonoma kind of trucks, kind of neat. It's old has fire truck. I have not tried to see if it works or not, batteries or nothing. Is missing the light up top. There's just another fire truck. It's not Hess related or nothing. This is kind of cool. This kind of works. Also, in that lot. There's all these Sunoco trucks. Now, these don't sell for a lot of money. But a couple dollars a piece. This hot wheel starter set is kind of neat. It's motorized. All you need is the motor. Then you can add track to it as well and just keep making it bigger and bigger. But, uh, as long as it doesn't, the car doesn't die, the track will be just fine. If you put too much track in, of course, the car won't make it around it, and of course, it's not worth nothing. So these uh, Hess cars, like I said, I don't do a lot with these, but it was in the lot. I bought this lot because it had two things in it. One thing you'll see in this video, uh, next one I'm gonna do by itself because it's something I wanna do a video on by itself. Uh, it'll be in the future here. Another Texaco. Another Sunoco. Now, after Hess started their stuff, then every other company started getting in doing it too. I like this. It does not work, but it is an old school 90s one, 91 Blazer S10. Kind of cool. So, there's two monster trucks in here, and a Mountaineer, which will probably go in my collection, as well as the Hot Wheels. Got the Shredder Cruiser. This was in the lot. And all these little trucks were in there. All these different ones. He's missing a set of wheels. Seems like over the past couple weeks, I'm finding a lot of tractor trailer stuff, which we'll get into in future videos. Pull behind Tootsie Train. Tonka Pepsi Cola. Thing. 
holder, like a little plastic model kit. It's kind of cool. Don't have windows in it, but there's a tow truck. Tonga tow truck. I have a tow truck guy. He buys a lot of my tow, uh, tow trucks. There's a older plastic uh, army truck. It's kind of cool. The taxi. Buddy old dump truck. Now I had a, I had about six of these, the radio cars. I did sell at a flea market not long ago. And uh I sold a few of these already. I've been behind, like I said, I just I've been buying stuff and I got so much it sits in the car and then when I go to the flea market I just throw it on the table and then I forget to do a video and so a lot of things I've already sold out of this lot. There's a wood peg game set, seven in one. So seven different games in one box, I mean. Uh, there's turtles in there. It's Valentine's Day turtle. He doesn't work. So cool piece. Bag of Hot Wheels is in there. A couple black walls. Trans Ams, Firebirds. There's a rigged out little funny car. Generation X, one of them. Generation X. This Tonka 6x6, the little amphibious car is pretty cool. It's a great shape. Good, vibrant color. It's a really, really cool. There's a Tonka, Tonka and the Ertl, Ertl, uh, horse trailer, which I think I have a Jeep or something. In the store, out of pool is so it'll look good. As I was getting ready to leave this guy's lot table or house, whatever it was, that was at the house, I think. He said, I got this bag of G.I. Joe figures. There's a yard of G.I. Joe Supers here. Uh, with the vehicle, and these are Jurassic Park. These are the Matchbox. Jurassic Park ones. It's kind of cool. And this is all Jurassic Park figures. And all kinds of guns. And I don't know if these guns all go to Jurassic Park. Or if some go to that over there. So I really don't know. Let's jump over here real quick. This whole box of RC cars. Uh, there's another Hummer here. There's this guy. A lot of them are broken. Seen better days. There's Batman vehicles in here. Buddy L bus. There's a piece down there to a, a slime pit. He-Man slime pits in here. Batmobile, the Grinch, a lot of these don't have remotes, but still like cool looking pieces, uh, Spider-Man card in there, two Batmobiles, uh, what else in there, a big SSR Chevy pickup, got this guy in here buddy, I already have one of these at the store with the stickers falling off, so I might just switch the cab out because it's a better one. So, the last thing on this was one of the things that I wanted to buy when I sold a lot was this. It's a uh, Beast Machines electronic uh, transformer seat tour. Now, this is a big, goofy, bulky piece. You ain't gonna be able to get that one either, right? bottom piece fell off but uh this does work 
Uh, it's that red thing. Shield there is missing one on the front pole. Has one on the other side. And has a... So all the pieces are here. Both heads are here. You got a head there and there's a head inside his chest. Uh, the other piece just fell right there. Goes right here on this back side right there. Uh, the tail is in the box. The instructions is in the box. That other extra piece is in the box. But missing that one red piece right there. Look these up. They don't sell for a super lot of money. But about 60 to 75 hour range in working condition. And that's without a box. So I'm going to put 80 bucks on mine with the box. So there's the other piece that goes underneath. So he actually, in robot mode, that's kind of what he looks like. Extending claw, which is in there, it does come out. The sword does break down like it's supposed to. There he is in his cheetah mode. Some of his specs. So that's going to do it for this video. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button. See something you like, let me know. Till the next one, big dogs out. Everyone be safe.